everyone is ready for some SmackDown action. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz and Ringside. Yeah, baby, LA, it's always full of stars, but tonight, they're gonna get to see some WWE superstars. And not just any superstars, but the SmackDown superstars, the greatest superstars in sports entertainment. Tinseltown will never be the same. JBL has every advantage you could possibly ask for in his life. Money, talent, fame, and a natural drive to succeed. And I think that's why it's so disappointing to see him act the way he does. What are you talking about, Paul? Everything JBL does, he does for the WWE fans. He's rich enough that he doesn't even have to put his body on the line night after night. He does it because he's a man of the people.
is a fatal four-way match and is for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Introducing first, from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. These fans just can't get enough of Latino heat. Eddie Guerrero's got them in the palm of his hand. Yeah, I don't know why. He lies, he cheats, he steals. The fans hate it when most superstars pull that. What's so different about Eddie? How about a love for the business task? How about a commitment to putting on the best show possible for his fans? Eddie has never forgotten that they're the reason he's here, and he never takes them for granted. From San Diego, California, weighing 165 pounds, Ray Mysterio. Man, this Ray Mysterio has got tons of flash, no doubt about it, an amazing athlete, Cole. A lot of people think he's real excited to watch, and I agree with them, but he just doesn't have the fuel size to get the job done sometimes. I think you're selling Mysterio short, no pun intended. Mysterio's developed a very unique style that makes the most of his natural speed and agility. Hey, Cole, you know the old expression, right? Speed kills. And in regards to Rey Mysterio, I think too much of a good thing. He might have a little too much speed at times. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 558 pounds, Luther Reigns and Mark Sintrak.
WWE Tag Team Champion, Scotty Too Honey and Rikishi. This is unique, ladies and gentlemen, Texas Tornado style. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Introducing first from Austin, Texas, weighing 195 pounds, Paul London. Get that to the ring that way. Folks, this is what SmackDown's all about. Cruiserweight action. Approaching the ring from Raleigh, North Carolina, weighing in at 209 pounds, Shannon Moore! Weighing 150 pounds, Spike Dudley. Hey, a paisan. Weighing in at 175 pounds. Yeah. I didn't know Joe could do it. It's quite possible. He's got a lot of competition here. Well, who is the uh, the sixth competitor? <laughs> Five what? in the ring. Six will be involved with the cruiserweight title on the line. From El Paso, Texas, weighing 200 pounds, Chavo Guerrero. Oh, oh, sudden death. First person oh, to pick up big ball oh, submission will win oh, the Cruiserweight Championship. Oh. If you try to rush things, you could wind up making a critical mistake that could cost you the match. Let me tell you, Cole, I spoke to these superstars before the match, and I ain't never seen competitors more fired up and ready to get it on.
your winner and the new cruiserweight champion of the world, Nuncia. He wins the championship. What the hell? We are back on SmackDown, and the apples can mean only one thing. Carlitos Cabana interrupting. Hopefully, Carlitos a gentleman, and he doesn't spit an apple in anyone's face, if you know what I mean. Ladies and gentlemen, Carlito! I'll tell you, ever since the Cabana has debuted here on SmackDown, some strange and bizarre incidents have happened. Cabana brings impact, baby. I love the Cabana. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Cabana. The United States Heavyweight Championship. That's cool. That's really cool. And Carlito's special guest tonight, Booker T. When it comes to fan favorites, there's no superstar more beloved by the WWE fans than Booker T. Yeah, but I personally think Booker should spend a little bit less time no showboat and more time focus on winning matches. Well, look at you. Thanks for having me, man. You seem a little different tonight. You seem, you seem a lot more relaxed. I just needed to come out here to find the guy who considered himself the coolest guy on SmackDown. Well, Carlito doesn't think you're cool. Carlito thinks you're a punk. And Carlito spits in the face of punks. And Carlito spits in the face of people who don't want to be cool. What the hell you say, man? That's just what I'm talking about, man. It's people like you, man. You know I'm sick of you. I'm sick of this damn cabana. You know what, man? You know what? Like the doctor said, an apple a day. Keep Carlito. Run it away! Now can you dig that? Do you play for your team? No, not really. It's just a cabana, though. I'll tell you, this hiding right. Well, go. In my estimation, it's about a six foot eight, three hundred pound Rottweiler. Look at him, man. He's a pack. I'm telling you, this guy is ferocious. Didn't have many friends. We know no, that. No, I know, but. Hey! Ah. I'm 
Mike Stable pole, I'm telling you. We heard this guy's a loose cannon. Oh, what's, what's he gonna do? What the hell is this? Oh, come on! I'll tell you, this, this I hope general manager Theodore Long looks long and hard into this yeah, footage. Well, well, general manager Theodore Long Long's a little busy outside tonight, Cole. I even went making a major statement here, Cole. Okay, one more. Now, ladies and gentlemen, up next, what a match set up by general manager Theodore Long. The following contest is the elimination match and is for the WWE Championship. Now in this match you can be eliminated by count out, disqualification, submission, or pinfall. Two wrestlers will start designated by the referee. You can tag anyone and any physical contact constitutes a legal tag. From New York City, weighing in at 297 pounds, J.B.L. At the Texan Transplant, living in New York City in Manhattan, I'll tell you what, hey, I'm a proud New Yorker. I'm proud that JBL, he's a New Yorker now. And I'll tell you what, he damn well could be the SmackDown champion tonight when it's all said and done. And how important is this matchup? General Manager Theodore Long saying he is going to, to have this, this elimination match tonight to crown the new SmackDown champion. Arguably the biggest stars on SmackDown today involved in this matchup, the winner to be champion. From West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 248 pounds, John Cena! John Cena has shot up real quick. He ain't picked up the experience that a lot of other superstars have, and that could be a little bit of a problem for him. Well, from where I sit, I haven't seen a lot of superstars give Cena much of a problem. He's held his own against some of the most talented veterans on the roster. That's the problem, Cole. You're pulling it from where you sit. I've actually been in the ring unlike you. And I'm saying back in my day, I would have loved to have been in the ring with a kid as cocky as Cena. What the hell? Oh my god! The big show? Say it ain't so! He wasn't scheduled to be here! Standing seven feet tall, weighing 493 pounds, the big show! Seven feet tall, 500 pounds. There's no question why he's one of the most dominant superstars in sports entertainment. Yeah, but you know, it's real easy to rely too heavily, upon the pun, on that huge size advantage. And that can make you lazy. And that's something I think Big Show needs to be sensitive of. From Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Weighing in at 230 pounds, Kurt Angle! Man, you talk about an American icon, you talk about a real American hero, you just don't get any better than that man right here, Kurt Angle. Angle certainly represented his country well in the 1996 Olympic Games, where he won his gold medal. But ever since then, I think his accomplishments have gotten to his head. What? How can you say that, Cole? That's practically, that's, that's more or less un-American. I hope the Department of Homeland Security ain't watching this.
Valley, weighing in at 305 pounds, The Undertaker. You know, there's no doubt that The Undertaker is one of the most impressive superstars ever to set foot in a WWE ring. But you know what, Cole? You're only as good as your last match. How can you say that, Taz? The dead man has proven himself time and time again. I highly doubt that that would change if he lost this match, which I don't think he's in danger of doing, by the way. Taker's earned his rep, no doubt about that. No one's disputing that. But you gotta know when to call it a day, Cole. There's a fine line between legend and has been. I can't believe you could sit here and even imply that The Undertaker might be a has been. That could be hazardous to your health. Hey, Cole, we'll put words by mouth. The dead man has been on top of this business for a very long time. But the thing about being on top is there's nowhere to go but down. The thing you got to remember about The Undertaker is that 50% of his style and his offense is about getting inside the head of his opponent. If you can keep your cool and keep your, you know, keep your head together in the ring with him, you're halfway home. But you're not taking into account the power and experience of the dead man, Taz. Surely you can't forget about them. Well, you see, that's the other 50%, Cole. Good luck with that, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Because that's exactly what I can't stand about Edge. He might be a great competitor, but he's a lousy human being. Hey, I'm not saying I want to be Edge's best friend or nothing, but I love watching this guy in the ring. Are you telling me you'd rather watch a guy who does everything by the book, Mr. Goody Two Shoes, and cares about the rules, more about winning? Come on. I'd rather watch a superstar who had some sense of sportsmanship, some sense of decency, yes. How can you applaud a man who doesn't care about anyone but himself? Simple, Cole, because those are the guys who win. Hey, JBL, you know how much a being champion means to that man. That's look at the toothy grin. JBL is confident. And when you got that confidence, and he's also very cocky, but when you got that confidence, and he's also very rich.
is your winner and the new WWE Champion, Edge. Edge is so quick and so deadly. You can't take your eyes off him for one second. And that's doubly true if you're the referee. I don't think Edge has ever met a rule he wouldn't break. No shame in that, Cole. Like I always say, he ain't cheating, he ain't trying.